Hey you guys, Smart Geek. In this video, I want to share with you guys a very cool launcher that I've been using recently. It's called EV Launcher. It's a free launcher, and what I like about this launcher is that it's very easy to use, and it keeps your phone very, very minimalistic as well. Uh, first of all, let's go show you guys the things that you could do with this launcher, which is free, of course. Uh, when you swipe down. Uh, you can see your recent results. So if you've been using, like, for example, YouTube, it's going to be right there. So any application that you've been using is going to appear right here. Uh, you can also swipe down and start searching for an, a specific application. Like if I tap Z, you get the application with Zs, which is Zedge in, on my, in my case. If I go down again, if I tap T, you see the applications with T. Like see there, very, very cool. It's way better than going into a draw and looking for the application. That I really, really like. And of course, since it has the search bar right there, you could tap right here and say Chinese food near me. Here are some listings for Chinese food near me within 30. So of course it uses Google now to search for places near you. Um, and basically that's it. Um, other feature that it has, you, ha you can swipe up and you can enable Google Now. So if you're like me that are a heavy user with Google Now, this is really cool because look at that. And I like the fact that you can see the logo going, getting bigger, getting bigger, getting bigger until it opens up Google Now. That looks pretty damn cool. To enable that, you would have to go slide right here, go to settings, right? And go to Google Now here and enable that because by default, it is turned to off. So if you use Google now, make sure you turn it on and that's it. One negative thing is that is that you cannot assign the swipe up feature to another application, only Google now. But since I use Google now, I have no problem with that. Now, like you saw here, I swipe over here and you saw the applications. Uh, that's because this is basically your draw. All your applications are going to be right here. Uh, you have your alphabetic right here. So if you go down through the letters, you can see all the applications. Pretty cool. Very smooth. Um, it will also remember the location. So, for example, if I stayed here on FIFA, right, on the Fs, I could go right here. I could go hit the switch, hit the home button. I can open another, another application. And when I go ahead here, I still am on the F. It doesn't reset to A. I really like that as well. Another cool feature here, you have the uh, widgets. So the widgets are not hitting anywhere else. You have it right here, right next to the applications. If you want to enable them, all you got to do is tap right there, put it right here on the screen. Of course, it's going to ask you if you want to allow this application to create widgets. Uh, you, of course, you want to say yes. Let's click here so it will never ask you again. And that's it. So you tap right there. You can also resize it. You can move it to the side like that. Or you can go ahead there and remove very, very easily. Very cool. Uh, let's go and test this again right here. There you go. Tap right there. You can resize it or you can remove. Okay, let's go ahead here in settings. Uh, here you got a couple things, because one thing that I like about this um, uh, launcher is that it eliminates the feature where you hold the screen and it opens up the settings and uh, the wallpaper and all that. I don't like that, because sometimes I grab my phone and I accidentally uh, go into the settings mode, which I don't like. So here, when you tap, tap and hold the screen, like you see there, it doesn't enable that. Um, here you have all the settings available for this launcher. If you want to change wallpaper, click right there. I could click right there, click there, and that's it. So it will remember all the wallpaper setups that you have used lately. So you see how that looks pretty cool. Tap right there again, tap right there. Uh, these are basically all the wallpapers that you have used recently. Like see there, the Wonder Woman wallpaper looks pretty damn awesome. Look at that. That looks amazing. Um, and if you want to go into the gallery, click right there, right? You could go here to gallery and you could search for wallpapers that you have downloaded and you could install the app uh, wallpapers like that as well if you want. You can also change icon packs. Click right there. And right here, I have a couple options for wallpaper uh, icons. I could tap right there. Just by tapping on it, it will automatically change the icons. Like you see there, really cool. So that is really nice. I click there again. If you want to go back to the system, click right there. And it will actually show you guys the default 
icons of all the applications uh, the one that i've been using le lately is this one right here moonrise icon pack but if you want to browse for more um, icons you just hit right there and it'll take you to the play store and here there's a whole bunch of free icons you can download so if you're one of those that love uh, customizing your your phone with icons or your icons click right there let's go ahead and choose it download this one and uh, once it finishes, let's see, let's go ahead and wait for it to finish. Dun, 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 dun. It's downloading there. There you go. It finished. Now we should go ahead here. Go ahead here. It should be here, right? No, I don't see it. I don't see that one. Okay, there it is. Glim Dark. Click right there. And there you go. This is how it looks. Not bad, looks pretty cool. But the one that I've been using a lot is Moonrise Icon Pack. Click right there. Oops. Click right there and that's how they look. They look pretty damn cool. All the application looks pretty damn nice. Look at that. It has a lot of custom icons for a lot of popular applications. And that's the one that I've been using lately. Um, here you got home screen layout, which is really cool. Um, here, for example, you got icon size. Um, by default, when you first install this the icons might look very big so if you want to make the icon smaller just click right here normally i put it you can put it really small right there and this is how small they will look uh but normally i keep it on 65 percent let's go in 60 yep 65 percent 66 uh rows you can actually add more rows right now i'm using six rows but right now, if we keep on swiping here, look at the, all the rows you can make. Up to 12 rows of applications. So I keep it here on six. Columns, you can also add more columns, just like that. Look at that. So right now, I'm using five. I'm using five, but if I want to use one extra one, six. Save layout. There you go. Now I have a space for another application. Let's see which application I, I put there. Go and choose this one, Twitter, and click put it right there. There you go. So if I want to make it a little bit bigger because the icons look a little bit smaller, let's go to 70%. And there you go. Looks way better now. So that's a cool thing there. Um, also, of course, I already showed you guys this one, which is Google Now option. I'll make sure you enable that if you use Google Now. This right here says clear recent results. If you click on that, what it does, it just eliminates this the results right here. Uh, hide apps. If there's some application that you don't do you want to be hidden, for example, I click here in AutoZone and all that. You click right there, and that application should be hidden from the from over here. See, it should be hidden from the app section AutoZone is not there now like you see there so that's pretty damn cool there too and basically that's it here of course if you love ev you can rate it send a feedback switch to another launcher right there if you tip right there it will show you guys all the launches that you have installed and you could just switch to one of them but so far i've been really really liking this um launcher it looks pretty damn cool this right here is a wallpaper for watchdogs it looks pretty nice for those that are going to ask this right here this keyboard that i'm using that changes for it doesn't matter what application you uses it changes to the color of the application just to match it like for example if i go to twitter here you see there the the, the keyboard color changes uh, this is chroma keyboard chroma keyboard if i click right there Dun, dun, dun. this is this application chroma keyboard i already did a video for that so and i've been using it since i made that video so i really really love this keyboard because it changes depending on the application that i'm using it changes to the color look at that i like that that looks pretty cool so guys um that's it just want to share this launcher with you guys i really love using different kind of launchers all the time and uh this is a really nice one i like it because it's really simple I like the fact that it doesn't activate the settings when you tap and hold the screen. And I like this feature that I can swipe up for my Google Launcher or swipe down to search for applications. Just like that. Very cool. Look at that. That looks so awesome. 
and that's it guys uh, so thanks for watching the video just want to share the ev launcher with you guys the, i'm gonna leave a link in my descriptions so you guys can go ahead and download it and try it out till next time guys